I'm Leslie Brothers, director of the Ulrich Museum of Art, and I'm participating in the Ulrich Archive Project, where staff members are selecting excerpts of talks from 80-plus videos located on our YouTube channel. I chose Carrie James Marshall's talk, titled John Brown's Body, the Representation of Black Bodies as a Revolutionary Gesture. The talk begins with John Brown and moves to art schools, Fragonard and the Rococo, pop art, and ends with a commentary on photography. In the section I pulled out, Carrie is talking about two large paintings from the early 90s that were pivotal in his career, game changers, that would lead him to his place in the Pantheon. Enjoy. Uh, but this is this is all this is stuff that sort of gets earlier, um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna arrive in a moment at at one pa at two paintings that are that I say are really pivotal for me. Uh, this is all work that I was doing in the early '90s, a series of paintings called the Lost Boys, that went with this big painting, which is called the Lost Boys. Um, and this painting, and the painting that follows. This painting is called this style. These two paintings are probably the most important, pivotal paintings I made in my development as an artist. This is 1992, 1993, right around there. Um, and these paintings, both of them are really big. They're 10 and a half feet by 10 feet. And all of my ambition as an artist Everything that I had imagined myself being able to do as a painter came together in these two pictures. And at the moment that I made those pictures, everything changed for me. Uh, because at that moment, I understood exactly what the stakes were, what my objective was, and how to go about fulfilling it. And I, I mean, in, on some level, I. I you know, in my egotistical self would say, after I made those two pictures, I never made another misstep. I was always clear. I had eliminated all the doubt about my ability to make the kinds of paintings that I always wanted to be able to make, um, that performed all of the functions that I thought a picture needed to perform. And it was realized in these two paintings. And in this painting, which was the first uh, painting that was purchased by a museum uh, of mine, was bought by the LA County Art Museum. Uh, and it, w what was significant about that was the fact that when I went as an elementary school kid to the first museum, I didn't even know there was such a thing called a museum until so they took us on that field trip. And that field trip was to the LA County Art Museum. And when I'm walking through there, I'm just saying, Look, this is, I want to be in here with these guys. You know, I want to have work that's in here like they have work in here. And when that painting was purchased by the LA County Art Museum, it fulfilled all my ambition as an artist, because it was in there amongst all those other, other artists. And not only just in there, but it was in there on a scale and at a level that made it undeniable. You couldn't overlook it. But you don't walk past something like that and not know it's there. Uh, and, it also, and the other thing is that it, it the other thing that made this picture meaningful to me is that younger artists who went to the museum and saw that picture uh, said to me, it's like, I, I, one artist in particular, I'm not going to name him, but said, it's like, he said, I read some interviews with you, and it's like the same stuff that you were saying in your interviews about how you felt when you were standing in front of Charles White's work at a museum, he said, that's the same stuff friend, me and my friends are saying when we were standing in front of your picture. And so when you have a generation of young artists who find that there's something of use and something of value in the work that you made, and it gives them some kind of idea about how they can proceed, that's the, that's the, the greatest success you can have. Because all we are doing is trying to make work that not only connects with the past, but becomes a catalyst for what people who want to come after you are able to do. That's what we're trying to do as artists, because then you are completely embedded in the, in the larger narrative of what it means to make important and significant artwork. Mm -hmm. 